to understand all the chaos in the world. And as we have been progressed, both biologically, very physically, programmed mentally, intellectually, one must be aware of this being programmed like a computer. The Quran says, you are busy piling up, calculating, developing your careers, your money, your occupation, your wealth, until you visit the graves. Think about it. When was the last time that you went to a funeral? What was the demeanor? Were the people cracking jokes? Were they dancing? Were they clapping and singing songs? No. Silence. Why? Because every person that walked in that room, seeing that person stretched out, the first thing they thought about was not the person. The first thing they thought about was that one day, this will be me. A crisis which the politicians can never solve. Because they are programmed to think in a particular way. No other scientists can solve or understand the crisis. No, the business world, the world of money. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Beale, and I won't have it. Is that clear? You think you've merely stopped a business deal? That is not the case. The Arabs have taken billions of dollars out of this country, and now they must put it back. It is ebb and flow, tidal gravity. It is ecological balance. You are an old man who thinks in terms of nations and peoples. There are no nations. There are no peoples. There are no Russians. There are no Arabs. There are no third worlds. There is no West. There is only one holistic system of systems. One vast and main, interwoven, interactive, multivariate, multinational dominion of dollars. Petrodollars, electrodollars, multidollars, Reich marks, rims, rubles, pounds, and shekels. It is the international system of currency which determines the totality of life on this planet. That is the natural order of things today. That is the atomic and subatomic and galactic structure of things today. And you have meddled with the primal forces of nature. And you will atone. So Allah said, al hakum al all of us, all of you are engaged in running your mouths, doing your business, multiplying, buying houses, cars, business, whatever you're doing. And when you're told about God, religion, life, morality, you're saying, look, I ain't got no time for that. I don't want to hear that. See how arrogant people can be until they visit the funeral house. So unless 
one is very, very serious, not flippant, not casual, but is concerned with the whole of humanity. And to understand this human behavior, human thought that has brought us all to this point. And you say to yourself, is that it? I mean, 50, 60 years, scraping, struggling, scheming, lying, stealing, fornicating, jumping up and down, begging, working, and this is the end of it? I mean, is this what's going to happen to me? Are they going to be dropping me into a, a hole in the ground? A hole in the ground! I disagree with you on Israel, but... Uh, in what way? You're not a supporter. I, well, I'm not, I'm, I hope Israel flourishes. I just don't think it's worth an American life or an American dollar. What happens in the winter? All the leaves fall off the trees and the earth goes dead. And what happens in the springtime? The water comes, generates the earth again, germinates all over again, new grass, new leaves, new flowers, new fruits. So Allah says, and a sign for them is the dead earth. After that, we give it life. And then you eat the fruits from that. So Allah says the one who gave you life in the beginning, is he not able to give you life all over again in order to judge you? Yes, certainly. You may want to deny it because you don't want to be judged. And we said, and to us this living, which is misery, is we accept. If we didn't accept this existence as misery, then life and death have, are the same movement. Like love, death and living are one. One must totally die to find what love is. And to go into this question of what, what is death, what lies beyond death, whether there is reincarnation, whether there is a resurrection, for all that, becomes rather meaningless if you don't know how to live. We now are a nation known to start war. We feel compelled because of our insecurity that we have to go over and attack these countries to maintain our empire. We have over 700 bases, we are in 130 countries, and we are talking about bombing Iran. It is such a dramatic change from what is truly American and truly constitutional. I don't want to run the world. The Constitution doesn't give me the authority to run the world. We ought to mind our own business is what we need to do. This is a continuation of a revolution. It is a peaceful revolution. It's up to you to spread this message around this country. This is an American cause. It's a cause of freedom. There's something going on in this country, and it's big. Spread the message. Thank you. Because there's a reason for humans to go inside the grave. If the Creator wanted to, He could have caused us to live and then disappear into the into the atmosphere but he didn't he calls us to go into another womb called the tomb you started out in the womb of your mother and you wind up in the womb of the earth called the tomb the alternative is that civilizations don't last very long but destroy themselves 